Alright, so today we're going to make a glasses case. This is the case that I'm going to try and replicate. Except this time I'm going to make it out of leather. This guy has fallen apart, so I'm going to make a new one. First I'm going to start off by tracing in the leather the outline of the glasses clip case where I need to cut. that there. And now to do roughly I'm gonna flare this out a little bit more. And let's see how that turns out. Okay. So now that I have this shape, I'm gonna start to cut. I personally find it easier if I cut off a larger chunk than what's needed and then work with a smaller piece of leather. Part of that reason is because I don't have any room to work. Alright, so now that I have my smaller piece of leather, I'm just going to trace this line out with a knife. Now this is going to take, take me a bit of time, so I'm just going to skip this so that you guys can get to the more interesting parts. Okay, so now I've cut out the piece of leather and you can see it lines up. So now what I'm going to try and do is fold the leather where it's supposed to fold. So I've pre-wetted this sponge here, I know it's going to fold here. And it's going to fold there as well. So I'm just winning these parts and the other side as well. So now the weather is much easier to bend. So this here I did not spec out, and so that doesn't fold off, and that's all right. There we go. Similar idea. And there's space in there too, and this folds down over the front. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a pattern in here. A stitch all the way along here, just like this to make it a little pretty. I plan on dyeing this all black, so I'll do that later. These edges here are still a little messy. Let's see. So I'm going to clean that up, but now I know that it works. Alright, so I even the, this bottom flap just a little bit, and here are the glasses. So the glasses go inside there. That. These edges would theoretically be stitched up like that, and this comes down about halfway. It's stiffening up because the leather's not quite wet in the winter. But there you can see we have the glasses case with the glasses inside. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my punches and I'm going to punch holes through here and through and along here make it very close to the edge and that should uh, and then once those are done I can chop off the remainder leather here to make it a little bit cleaner in appearance and I'll taper in these edges right here so that it's a little more pretty to look at when we fold it over so that's the idea and that's all that I really need to do now so I'm lining up a hole here at the bottom I'm going to go up to the edge and I'm going to repeat it on this side and then from that hole I'm going to work my way up this edge and that edge.
Now, the problem with hammering direct onto the cutting board is this is one of these cutting boards with a textured surface. So if I'm hammering, I don't want the face to pick up the texture of the uh, cutting board. And with the leather being so wet, it's very soft. So I'm going to hammer on top of another piece of leather that I have here, scrap piece. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So let's go up one more. where I want it to line up with the leather underneath. Now, since I am making this for my friend and I want it to look a little bit pretty, what I'm going to do is this stitching all through here uh, helps out with um, like keeping it together. What I can do is I can put stitching all through here as well and that way it'll look a little bit more like it's what it's replacing except uh, I'm thinking after I dye this leather black I'll use white thread all around give it a bit of an accent and that way uh, it might look a little bit nicer so I'm going to just punch holes just like I did before working all the way all the way around uh, you know nothing too complicated all right so now what you can see that's how I've punched all the way along. I'm not going to stitch it yet because I'm going to dye the leather first. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch holes for the snap that's going to keep it closed. Now I'm not going to install the snap for, uh, right away because if I do that, uh, I don't know how the dye and the snaps are going to interact with it together. So that's my snap. I think this snap is large enough to go through the leather, as you can kind of see there. So I'm going to, just doing this by hand, this is like a quick and dirty project that I just feel like doing on a Sunday. So there's my hole. I'm going to line her up. And I'm going to all the way through. That was nice. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is get it all wet again. And this is for lining up the next hole. Like that. And I don't think I'm going to be crushing the glasses this way, so I'm just going to have to stick that through. Let it go through. Nope. Oh, okay. Let's try this too. Loud. centered and I can eat my Wheaties. So now I have the holes lined up. There you go, so it's gonna to come together like that. This is my vision at least. So now the next step is going to be to dye the leather. And I'm going to dye it black. So I'm going to just get set up outside for this.